I mean, just look at me. Of course, I could be in a relationship. You're gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Well, is that, what, is that what you guys were screaming about this entire time? Like you, you guys were talking about, like, so it is the like the conversation is already kind of based around relationship stuff. Oh, always. Yeah, That's my uh, actually, we were talking about you for a little bit, and then we kind of, uh, if you since you weren't here, we kind of moved on to this stuff. So it's uh, okay. What was the topic? Oh, we talked a little bit about you and maybe some of the differences in our communication. I just, I want to um, get it confirmed from you because I believe this about you. You do not actually want to come fight me, correct? <laughs> I mean, if you want to fight, we can fight. No, but girl, I do not want to. I am old. I'm 34, Zena. We are not fighting. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, well, I don't feel bad then because at least I didn't guess your age wrong because people were saying you're in your 30s and i was like yeah she's in her 30s or i don't know i said a bunch of shit i, I talk my shit so that's a fact but it's a part of the shtick right it's a part of the youtube drama like you're talking shit but like you don't mean it okay to an extent yes and in the moment do i mean it absolutely like in person like if for example you were saying those things would i get up and throw a cup at you and be ratchet yes that would happen now if it was handled different where you're asking questions and then it got a little heated at a little debate that's different but if it just came off that way i automatically just oh what you said like it, it in the moment in the moment i'm sorry do, do i know want to, to go to prison again i'm confused ma'am do i know how to sit back and actively reflect and then be like okay maybe i don't think this you know then yeah yeah, that's something I'm working on changing about myself. So. I hear it in you, actually. One of the things that I was really impressed with is I heard that in you. Is you Sorry, saying, is where you misconstrued something I said about uh, that's how I am as a person, which was about yeah. being selfless, by the way, and that's what really was triggering because it's like there's things about me that I actively am working on changing and fixing about myself. So I feel like she's misconstruing it as if I'm saying, "Oh, I'm not a good person, and I don't." think I need to change and that's what I didn't like that's what was really jarring mm. question on that because I think like most people are good even when we're not being our best selves right I think we're all mostly for the most part trying to be better people I don't think like a lot of us sit here and think of like how can I be evil so when you said um I'm the, just this way even if it's not healthy what did you mean by that like my selflessness, which I, I mean, I said verbatim, I said, I'm the type to take, like, I want to make sure my partner is happy, whether it's my, my best friend or like my sisters, whatever, if there's a situation like, and I have to sacrifice something, I mean, obviously I'm going to make sure that they're the happy one. I'll take the L like, I, that's how I am as a person. I, I'm working on being more selfless because in the, in my past, I believe I was more so selfish. Mm. Have you heard, like, do you ever watch, like, therapists on YouTube who talk about this, how, like, selfless, selflessness is also, like, another version of selfishness? It's, like, another version of toxicity where, like, we neglect ourselves. And so I'm, like, concerned that you're going to forget that you deserve value as well, right? Wait, say that again? Like, I want you to make sure that you're also getting your needs met. Like, you're not just actually sacrificing. Like, yes, take the L. Like, as a bigger sister, I get it. But ultimately, like, you still got to choose yourself, right? Still get things done for me, obviously. Like, I'm not going without. Like, even in, like, my relationship situation, if, like, for example, like, the whole conversation is mainly about this monogamy or not monogamy mm. thing. Where I do, mm -hmm. while I know that there are men out here monogamous, even billionaires that choose to be monogamous. And some people just think monogamy doesn't exist at all for men and whatever. Like, I was telling my friend earlier, and she just doesn't believe it's possible. And I'm like, there are people that just don't want to step out of their relationships. And that's okay, too. But it's mm -hmm. also okay that a lot of men, if they could step out the relationships, would. And for someone that just got out of a poly relationship that I'm dating... If that's something he might want to try again, because that's what he might be used to since he was in that relationship for, what, three years, I'm more open to be like, okay, I was already in a relationship with a dude who was sleeping with bitches. I can do this, except I'm already validated more in this relationship because I know that we're together. And I just want to make sure there's things not being done like overly romantic things. But I'm learning that a lot of his character traits are, in a sense, he enjoys wooing people, which can be construed as romantic so that's like yeah. something i'm trying to work around and it's not about an insecurity or not able to feel secure it's just there's certain things that obviously i'm going to be selfish and want for me alone like I, I ain't sharing my nigga yeah if we share a dick that's all you're getting like you don't mm. get to have that comfort and security that i get that's just my mentality on that you know, when I did, uh, I was polyamorous for 10 years and I, I did poly and open. So 
I was open to dating people long term and having multiple relationships, like building a life with multiple people. And I was open to just building a life with some people, but not all the people I slept with. And I remember one of my friends, she was like, I think we should date. And I was like, oh, I feel like we make better lovers, right? Because I'm, bi- I'm pansexual, so I'll date anybody. But I remember saying, like, I don't want to build a life with you, but I do want to, like, have sex with you and be romantic with you and, like, have fun girl times with you. But I don't want to build a life with you. So for me, like, like the thing that's specific to Britney, like, it, now I'm monogamous. But when I was open, I just didn't want to build a life with very many people. I was very specific about that. Do you mean – is that what you mean to say? Like, you don't want Darius to build a life with anyone else but you, right? That part's a given, but, like, I also – know like how romantic he can be obviously girls can easily fall for him and that can cause problems if a girl's falling in love girls be trying to do shit and then like Mm -hmm. i'm the type like if a bitch is stepping out of bounds now i gotta beat the fuck out of a bitch because she knew her place she stepped out of her place thinking she could take my place and now it's and we could just avoid that because then i'm going back to jail you know I really recommend you don't say poly then because polyamory is multiple relationships at the same time. Well, I've explained that to him. I, I know. Yeah. He just says it wrong. He's got to explain that to him. Because that's confusing. It's open is just you're sleeping around. Poly is being yeah. in a relationship with multiple people, yeah. which is a romantic thing. And I've broken that down too. Even on the last one, if you watch the whole thing where I said it, I was like, there's a difference between polygamy, polyamory, mm-hmm. and open. There's a comp- And even swingers. There's a yep. whole different definition between that See, and i know so that you know I'm, darius has to upgrade you. his language because that's confusing because if he's talking to poly girls and poly girls are like oh so he's interested in me and then they get beat up by you it's like whoa 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 <laughs> oh well yeah i mean i don't think he talks to any poly chicks but yeah okay. that would be definitely an issue there because uh i would let but i mean he has already said like a lot of the arguments come because I guess it comes off as as if I'm accusatory for something. And maybe that's my mm-hmm. tone. I'm very assertive when I speak. So a lot of times when I'm saying something, I get that accusatory tone. And he just feels like, obviously, I'm attacking him or telling him, oh, you're cheating. And that's not what he's done. And it's like, so I get like his frustration where it's not fair because like he's done nothing but good as of right now. And not really, I guess, getting his flowers for it. Yeah, that's interesting. Are you like, do you know, like terms like low trust and high trust, where like in low trust communities, there's kind of a defensiveness, we assume something is going to happen that's negative. And then in a high trust community, we assume the best of people because we think the best of ourselves. Like, do you feel like your relationship is low trust or high trust? Well, honestly, I would like to obviously trust him. But unfortunately, given my, ex- which isn't fair, and I know this, but given what I've seen, what I've experienced, and like an- personal anecdotals, and just what I've seen, in stats, I mean, it's just more likely to be what I think. And so, like, I'm working on not projecting that onto him. Sure. And then a quick sense. question, because I, I always ask this. I'm sorry, say that again? No, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. I'm curious. And I always ask everyone this. I'm What kind of model of relationship are you looking for? Are you looking for like 50 years of marriage and together? Or are you looking more like for 10 years and then we break up and then we date somebody else? Okay. That's retarded as <laughs> fuck. And I hope no judgment, girl. Like people be out here. People be yeah, out no, here. I hope <laughs> nobody thinks like that. I definitely look for long term. Like I did the whole, I did the whole placeholder boyfriend thing quite previously like it where you're just dating just i didn't even know i was dating but just whatever we weren't dating whatever the fuck he says i don't care i was in that situation just at a standstill just doing what i gotta like figuring out what i want out of life in that moment so it was just kind of like literally that a placeholder like just a pause um even though time was obviously ticking and i was wasting time in that moment yeah but yeah when i date i want to date for long term i want a family i want kids i want a husband i want to die with my partner Beautiful. Okay. I'm same, like same Z's. Love that. Question on like, you know how there's like different parts of Xena that I'm sure exist. Like you've got your like soft side, your rougher side, you, when you're being a boss, when you're being like a bottom, like when you're, you know, enjoying your life. How many parts of yourself do you think Darius can see and understand? All of them. Yeah. That's All a pretty big deal. Part, like- Pretty much, yeah, I think, honestly, like, there's no barriers up when it comes to him, like, all of them, like, everything, like, I'm able to confide in him, even, like, financial issues or anything like that mm. that I keep to myself, or legal stuff, or anything like that, I tell him pretty much anything, like, 
legal or not. Like I, I tell him. So like, I think he pretty much gets to see whether he understands all those parts. I can't tell you only he could, but I know, like, I definitely tell him everything. Like, I think that's, that's really great. That's another thing that's really comforting because I am able to trust him in that sense to be like, I can open up to him more than I could with anybody else. Like I don't have to pretend to be somebody. Whereas mm. like, in my past, like, obviously, I couldn't dress as provocative, even though, like, I like dressing promiscuous. I like that stuff, even though I'm not sleeping with every man I fucking meet. I like to look that way. I like the validation from men and women. I like when I walk outside, people are staring at me and getting locked jaw. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. it. That I've always loved that. It's really, it makes me feel good. I like um, posting sexy pictures and getting people simping in the comments because it's funny to laugh. Like, look at this simp. Like, I like that. Obviously, I couldn't behave that way or have these mannerisms in my previous relationship. It was, oh, taboo and so wrong. So there were certain things I had to shield about myself. I couldn't talk about nerdy stuff, anime, spirituality, the occult, even my own religion. Like, I couldn't really talk about these things because it was, oh, don't talk about that. It looks bad. And oh, no, 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 no. Only talk about Islam and da 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 Like, I had to basically be somebody else. And that was like a struggle that I was dealing with is like, basically be parts of myself and hide the rest so i only certain parts aspects of myself could i be you know i love i love that actually one of the things you said one of the things i heard you say about darius that was like really really lovely is you said that he doesn't shame you for like your sex work or your only fans or i think you said you were a stripper too like he doesn't shame you he's into it like it's good like that was something i needed in my husband was that he was going to be pro like sex positive like pro sex work and like understand like i've been to nudist like i've done nudist parades i've posed for nude art like i do stuff on my own like i'm a big fan of it like naked girls hello beautiful so like i thought that was really lovely that darius was so supportive yeah like um not that he's like into it or whatever but he's definitely yeah what you said supportive like um in the sense of like and even then like even though like yeah he does like encourage me like hey if you have to do this to make sure you're making your money like whatever whatever even now like i'm about to go to arizona or whatever and i told him Mm. like while i'm up here i'm gonna work at my home like the club i first started working at it's like my home club or whatever it's by my mom's so that I could make like just extra money to take with like a couple, like maybe a thousand or two or two thousand just to take with me to Arizona. So I can fend for myself because I didn't want like to be out there with nothing. He's like, I mean, I'm going to take care of you. Like whatever you need, I got you. That alone is like, okay, that makes me feel good. Cause like there's him being a provider, but at the same time, it's like, he doesn't have to do that. Like I'd rather not push all that onto him so early on in the relationship. Like maybe yeah. further down the line, if he wants to pick up, more as a man that's that's his choice and i'm not gonna stop him obviously um i do believe in gender roles to an extent Mm -hmm. so like i could agree with that but as of right now like obviously i don't want to go out there and have him spending all his money on me taking care of me if i need stuff you know yeah, that makes sense to me. I actually just moved from – I lived in Arizona. I'm from California, but I lived in Arizona for a few years, and then I just moved to Croatia. So that's kind of funny. Do you know where the White Mountains are in Arizona, like the mountains where it I've snows? I've been through Arizona. I've never actually sat and stayed in Arizona, so this will be my first actual time in Arizona. But I know we're going to go Great. to the – he said he's going to take me to the Grand Canyon, which I didn't know was in Arizona. I thought that yes. was in Nevada. Yes. That is so exciting. You guys are going to have so much fun. That is – awesome i love that there's there's so much like uh, like i hear so much like positive thing things coming out of you which was kind of surprising because you know the way the relationship is displayed is kind of confusing but i hear so many good things do you guys um like are this is going to be a weird question so like forgive me i but when i date i kind of date with the idea of figuring out if we should break up because like i'm looking for a long-term partner so do you guys date like you said this is my man this is my choice but, like, does that mean you've already made the commitment or has he made the commitment or are you guys still waiting to see if you're going to get married or whatever you consider your long-term commitment gesture? Does that make sense? I mean, we can talk about that stuff and, like, and it's ideal is pretty much the understanding that we both have said. Like, ideally, we would like to work things through. Like, even from the argument we just had, like, he went on Destiny's stream and something he said was, like, he was, like, he's just working on how to communicate with the situation better and he's not – like at a standstill because he's looking on how to break up with me type thing. Like he's very clear about like, that's not the case. Like, Mm. so I don't know. I think, I think so. Like I'm definitely looking more towards long-term getting to know him more as right now he's my suitor for long-term. Like that's who I'm looking at long-term. And I haven't really had 
deep discussions about future children and family planning and anything like that in a relationship ever, except now with him. Like, this is, like, the first time we've, like, I've actually actively had these conversations and breakdowns, so. That's pretty great. That must feel awesome, actually. I I couldn't, I don't want anyone to take that opportunity for granted because you learned so much about yourself. You said something in a live show that really stood out to me where you said, in prison, you really had to spend a lot of time with yourself. And you had to really get to know yourself. So now you're getting to know yourself in relation to someone else. How much more about yeah. yourself are you learning? Um, well, I guess like, yeah, Destiny did hit it on the head when he said like in prison, we don't learn life experience. And that's probably why my mind is at like a standstill, like when it comes to age, like I didn't have life experience to like mature more. You don't mm. mature more in prison. You you strengthen, you toughen up because you have to. I don't really think that that's a maturing thing. You do learn a sense, I guess, patience and a lot of self-reflecting. So in a sense, maybe there's some maturing there, but not when it comes to like age and like life experience. Yeah. Now with this, it would be more life experience and learning like actual how to treat somebody, how to react upon your treatment, how to receive good treatment, because that's something that I think I, was a major issue with me. And that's what I'm struggling with is how to receive affection positive affection and being treated well and actually accepting it versus like him treating me well and serenading me it's oh you have an ulterior motive why are you doing this you must have to be yeah. guilty about something that you, did. you know that would be my automatic because that is trained behavior from knowing like even working in the club industry or being around it or seeing it it's okay when the guy starts being all super super nice at like he's trying to either fuck and then, or he did something, he cheated, or he did something he feels guilty about, and he's trying to yeah. make himself feel guilty about it. And, like, that's something that I'm learning, too. Like, sometimes, like, it's okay to just receive love. Yeah, I 100% agree. I think that is, I mean, as somebody myself who, like, I used to have, like, 20 walls up and a moat, and there was, like, an alligator in it, and I wouldn't let anyone close to me or my feelings, and I would always pretend, like, you know, I'm good, and a lot of that's just, like, learned stuff from childhood, right, like, abandonment issues and, like, attachment issues, and so I see that in, like, so many of us growing up that it is nice just to accept and receive love because it is, it feels almost like a trick, but it's not, a, it's not always a trick, and yeah. that's really great. Well, that's something that I'm learning that like he's introducing me to i mean i know how to receive that like when it comes to like family i've never had issues with family i grew up very Great. spoiled very yeah but Great. as far as like i guess in the outside world most of what i've seen is people it's a it's a doggy dog world mm. i've seen people do like shit for with ulterior motives so that's like i'm trying to learn myself and not projecting that onto him and everything good that he does for me I don't want to take for granted or, or or ruin it or soil it by thinking oh he's doing this because he wants to make this person matter or he wants to make up for this and that you know like sometimes yeah. it's okay just to receive it. yeah I'm all about that now we, like we all deserve ahead. it so and we all like deserve that treatment mm. I'm super glue. I know. I'm curious. Um, do you feel like we've like squashed the beef and we're okay? Are you um, are you good with everything we've talked about? Because I know we talked in DMs and that seemed to go really well. You're very receptive in DMs, which I appreciate. But is there anything that's on your mind that you want to talk to me about since I'm here? Um. Well, yeah, I wouldn't say there was beef since we spoke in the DMs anyway. And like you said, like I definitely am receptive. Like if I have a conversation with someone, I'm really easy on like letting up on on like that like once there's yeah. a, a clear conversation um is there um a lot one I only had like like I asked you in the dms before too it was just like that's what kind of struck me was like I get like there's publication on that but like I didn't see like any like reaction towards like the whole like the uh, claims or the accusations of what was going on with my past relationship or even just yeah, the yeah. breakup since then it was necessarily out there but there was a lot of tweets out there a lot of and then I noticed when I went on the video even people were commenting it so I'm like okay so most people had an understanding of what was going on like people knew even though we weren't out there all the time saying it he did say it a couple of times so it was out there and I was like that was a pretty toxic situation and pretty fucked mm. up how it went down down to the whole oh no we were never dating and then I had to post a video of him saying we were and the text messages like okay you keep switching up first you said and one response to destiny was I didn't lie about the relationships I never lied to my to the women I sleep with I'm just not in a relationship no more and then the next day it was oh I was never in a relationship so it was just like a lot of back and forth bullshit mm. 
and then like using me to run all his businesses and build up his discord and his platform again when he didn't have nobody fucking doing that for him i was just like how come she didn't say nothing on that and then people were saying that apparently you guys were friends and you took his side over destiny so i had those questions yeah yeah so first and foremost i don't think any of my haters watch my content but I have since day one of knowing Sneeko, and I know his past girlfriends personally, like his girlfriends more than him even. Um, I've said it from day one, girls, don't date him. He's a hot mess. He's a, he is a liar and he's absolutely going to fuck with you. Like I've said that from day one. Now with your relationship, I didn't hear about it until after the breakup. And then I heard about it again through like kind of Kyla because I don't watch Destiny and I don't watch Sneeko. So I know them like I Destiny and I burned a bridge, but it wasn't over Sneeko. Like, that's what's super confusing to me about the internet. Like, what does Sneeko have to do with this bird burning? I'm a little confused about why they think it has. His pride and said he's more open-minded than Destiny, which honestly, I I think quite the opposite, having known both of them for the same amount of time. Yeah. I think the dilemma is that, like, I'm describing. that seems to be the thing that Destiny took most personally as well as the comparison to Sneeko. Yeah, I think the difference is, like, I'm describing open-mindedness as, like, an ability to actually, like, consider things and then still make your messy decisions and then i'm considering open-mindedness is not like a good or a bad judgment it's just like yeah i can talk to sneeko and he can go into different bubbles and look how he's trying to like check these things out but like destiny doesn't do that right like he he's hopped only so many bubbles has destiny become a muslim recently or like joined veganism or tried to be something like no he like changed a couple times which is really good but that's not but the that's, same thing as okay, like. But that's what I'm saying. That's kind of. The, I wouldn't consider that open minded or willingness to fair. learn. As far as that would be more like, okay, Destiny's not going to grift Islam for attention right. or for clout. Destiny already exposed those messages before when that's exactly what that man's att- intentions were mm. is to get that community behind him. He's yeah. Islamic, yet he's, girl, yet he's constantly, clearly, like, how Destiny called him out. He was like, I agree. Girl used to have a, no, I always say these men can't be Muslim. Muslim. They're not disciplined you know, enough, girl. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. girl that he's with is a whore. Like, er, like, be for real and then somebody sent some shit to me i I had to ban them out my discord but they just posted another picture with another girl or i guess a girl he's had on a stream that he met a couple days ago who's half naked on on instagram and on tiktok showing her titties and in thongs like you're muslim yeah yeah for i agree i don't think any of these men could ever be muslim or these women or like they all use religion like i totally like nobody ever is as disciplined as they want to be i think the dilemma is that i when I was making my content, again, I'm happy to talk to Steven. He doesn't want to talk to me and that's fine. But I never blocked him. I never burned the bridge. He's the one who ended our friendship. Sneeko wouldn't do that. No matter how many times I've called Sneeko a creep, no matter how many times I've said he's a loser, no matter how many times I've talked shit on him, he's never ended our friendship. So I think like the difference is like Sneeko isn't going to end our friendship because I criticize him. But Destiny did. And that's weird to me. So that's what I mean by open-minded. It's like, I don't get it. You criticize his character in that sense. But when you criticize him behind factual things that's going on, like calling him out like Destiny did, that's when he gets a problem. Or even when Zerka calls him out. When he's mm. actually being called out. Like what I'm saying. Going on yachts with chicks that are yeah, showing yeah, their yeah. titties and, and then posting For it. Sure. And, like, but like he's a grifter, that. right? So like in that bubble, they're like, all kind of liars. And they all kind of want the like lying, money. And the drugs. Everybody, I, sure. I backed down and then I, I lied for Zerka's sake to say the drugs were for Zerka's. The drugs no, weren't for Zerka and I had more proof of that. Those were his So drugs. I don't know what, well, this is all new all information for me, me, right? And this is after we broke up, asking me to still lie for you is kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't consider that open-minded. I think that's manipulation. And I think that he's a terrible person. And I was clouded with the idea that, oh, somebody actually might be better than what people are saying because I was with that yeah. person. And that's how I am. I'm loyal to a fault. But once sure. that loyalty is disrupted and I start seeing per- the person for who they truly are, I'm questioning me for being like, wait a second, why the fuck was I behind this person helping this person at all? This person's a terrible fucking person. I they agree with you. Everybody. This is the first time I'm hearing of We're these at, things, like for the record. When Sneeko fell, and this is in defense of like, this is why I've gravitated so much to watch and like watching how Destiny's character is when he gets into it, people, Destiny holds that respect down. Like he holds that respect down. He loves a good debate. He doesn't just snake someone. Even when him and Sneeko fell out and he knew that multiple people that were really big fucking influencers hitting me up trying to get me to talk to them about Sneeko and expose things destiny reached out to me and was like look maybe you need to just take a week break off 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 social media just take a week take a few days breathe because these people are gonna reach out to you it's gonna seem tempting because you're hurt and mm-hmm. yeah you could clown Sneeko and do all of that and go viral but at the end you're gonna feel hurt because you're getting used by these people they don't care about you they'll throw you away in the end and even giving that advice which 
in a sense, still saves. He didn't come as a dirty ass nigga like, yeah, expose him. Yeah, let's do that. Come on my platform. Like he didn't do any of that when he very well could have just showed a lot of his character when I, after I reflected on everything, it showed a lot of his character of like the type of person that he is. Yeah, I can see that. Now, really fast, like the things you're saying about Sneeko, like I'm learning this like for the first time. So interesting, but not surprising considering he hangs out with like Fresh and Fit and Andrew Tate and all those like trash people. No offense. Like I know you work for them, but like Fresh and Fit is anti-drug. They're anti-drug, but like that's the problem is like from my perspective, like I don't value any of these people, but like I'm not going to pick and choose from like the trash but also like that's my opinion and like i get it but like sneeko is someone i call a friend just like i call destiny a friend and for me when i know things behind closed doors like you do it's hard for me not to think like all these people seem like liars and grifters right because like just because somebody reaches out to help you doesn't mean they're not also manipulating you right in a sense yeah. So like it's hard it's hard to know, right? Like the character of a person. So I just want to say like obviously everything Sneeko's done that is bad is bad, right? Like that's absolutely not okay. I've been very clear about my content. If you have a video of Sneeko and you together, I'd love to review it for my live stream. I just don't know where that is. I don't know. I've already have the stream with Jerka and then like regular videos like on the yacht, like just me twerking on him and shit like that, or videos okay. in the club. Yeah, like that or video of me in his house with other chicks like that. Yeah. We have turning up. I've been pretty consistent. Like, oh, don't date chronic cheaters, right? Don't date Destiny. Don't date Sneeko. Don't date people who can't keep it in their pants. Like, I'm pretty big on that. I've been really consistent about that. Well, it's not really even about that. It's more so about toxicness or liars or manipulators. Yeah. Like people I mean, Sneeko's always different. been toxic, though, right? Like, he's always had problems. Well, I mean, he went on the internet constantly and during the cook accusation saying he hasn't spoke to Maria in, since that situation, yeah. and yet he took her to Japan while Charlie was yeah. already flaming him for being the cook, and he went viral, and Maria was right there in Japan with him. And what was I doing? Oh, cleaning out his Discord and making sure that nobody could trace this back. Yeah, I mean, Sneeko's got, Sneeko needs some major therapy, like without a doubt. Like without oh, a doubt. That, that was just more lies. Like it had nothing to do with breakup, but it was just me pointing out, like, look how much this person lies. Y'all want to, and his only excuse is, oh, you want to believe a woman? Well, the woman is the only one coming with actual fucking facts, whereas all yeah. you're doing is fumbling up the mouth, saying one thing one day, next thing another day, and another Expose thing Expose him, day. girl. I'm here if for you it. You weren't with that bitch, and yet you were in Japan with her, and mm -hmm. everybody knows it. And I have messages with other people you linked up with in Japan that hated her because they met her. How did they meet her? Why are there videos of her in Japan with you? And it's yeah, still on his I mean, too. One clip that was left in there. So it's yeah, like I you find lie Maria. To Maria's a victim in it too, right? Like Maria's in a victim in it too, and that's the problem. I mean, here's how she's a victim, and this is something that I think was really fucked up throughout it, and I expressed this too, and got shut down for it. But it's like, why would you even go on the internet and tell that story, knowing you were entering the red pill space, knowing people were gonna not only shame you for being a cuck, but now this girl has to live the rest of her life thinking she got a for people to say she got a train ran on her and oh you're the chick that that's, yeah. that got a train ran on in front of Sneeko and be called a whore for the rest of her fucking life because of you wanting to go viral for uh, some clips yeah for sure it's like everything there is it's pretty much also good and yeah, had they had a good bond or good relationship which i'm sure they did it's hard for even him to necessarily publicly be with this woman now because of these accusations and because of how much he cares about what other people think that must be really fucking hard on her mental and her emotional for state sure. and it's not and she no it's not fair i'm very pro maria i'm a big fan of maria i like her a lot we know each other behind the scenes i really like maria and like i always want to openly be there for her over sneeko obviously like i have solidarity with my women and my victims and i think she is a victim of sneeko's decisions and i think you're a victim of sneeko's decisions especially now that i'm really learning about them but i want you to know a consistent with my content and even that's why i think destiny is mad at me because i do i can't excuse what he did to melina so just like I can't excuse what Sneeko did to you and Maria, I can't excuse what Steven did to Melina. I can't. And I know more details behind the closed doors, which he knows. But like, that's the thing. I can't excuse it. So I'm trying to be consistent. I'm anti Sneeko. I'm anti Destiny as dating partners. But I know they both have parts of them that are good. Steven more so, obviously. Obviously, he's much more stable. But like, no one out here is perfect. And so don't date Sneeko. Don't date Steven, right? That's always been consistently my thing. If you would like, I will, I will, if you, I don't know what you want me to do, but like, if there's not a video to watch, I don't know what's better than my words about Sneeko. And I hope that, I hope that's good. I was just saying that that was just a question as to why not, like, For was sure. there bias behind there? But it's just you saying lack of information and knowledge of the situation, For sure. which is fine as well. Yeah. Like, I'm so, in some ways, I'm so glad you met him so I could meet you now, but I am sorry that he treated you that way because I don't like it. Like, I'm too much of a feminist to tolerate it. <laughs>
And mind you, on top of that too, he still owed me money for even making the Discord and running it and all of that, and he never even paid that either. Oh, see never that? Even, I a man the messages of the same thing, like I'm supposed to get paid. Never got paid. He had his his little manager friend Preston saying constantly they were working on fixing up the fucking TCK, and I was supposed to get paid for all my work. Mm. Didn't get paid. Mm. Nope. Mm-mm. 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 Paid. Oh, I was getting paid, and when we spent time alone together, that was my payment. Was his attention? Because attention is currency. That's what he would feed me. <sighs> you know, I'm tempted to do something. I, I got money do for this. other things. I mean, he sent me money for drugs. He sent me over three or four hundred dollars for drugs. Thousand dollars there. Another four hundred, five hundred. Like I have my LLC, like the LLC, like the Zell receipts with his fucking LLC on it. You can't yeah. lie on it. Like, so he sent me money for drugs, and I have the timestamps for when he's asking for drugs and said how much, and then I have the timestamp of the Zell where he sent the money at the exact same timestamp. Like, explain that. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, Zena? Because I I think it's time. I was thinking about doing it, but now that I'm hearing you talk, I think it's really important that I do it. And I do this on occasion with my content. I've got a lot of views on videos that are now private with very, like, big YouTubers. And I usually take them down if I feel like they don't mix with my values very well. And the last time I talked to Sneeko, and I'm happy to talk to him again, but I was really nice to him. As Abba says, I went softball on him. And now that I'm learning even more things about him, I think it's important that I take down the video I did with him recently because I think I was so softball with him that it's going to make people think that I'm condoning this bad behavior towards women and I just can't do that. You know what I mean? So I hope that's some sort of gesture of good faith to you, but there's no reason for me to keep this video up. Not if he's going to go around and hurt women the way he's been hurting women. So I'll take it down right now because I think that's important. So I'll, I'll private this video. I think that vibes with my values. I mean, yeah, I mean, I wasn't asking you to do that. I was just no, like, I'm going to do it like character that you probably didn't know, because if you're not in that situation, you wouldn't see just like, you know, friends don't really necessarily see everything you got going on all the time. So it's like, no, so true. I feel so kind of blindsided because though I had known some stuff and some stuff was pretty bad, I didn't know that it was like serial in this way. Like many, 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 many people. And look, again, Sneeko can message me if he wants but like i can't i'm not gonna condone right i don't want to condone this behavior wait, just I according to my own question. values wait i just have a quick question it's gonna do some confirmation thing for me before have you o- have you only spoke to him through social media or have you personally texted him as well um the only time we've talked is basically about work except for a couple of times we talked privately no, about like, his I mean, relationships did you, did you have his number yes or no yes i had his phone number and we talked okay yeah. good because when i said okay so that, i just wanted to make sure because he has two different phone numbers so i was just going to send you screenshots to show you the like the screen I have, recording so you can see his number and everything yeah i have his like old and his new one and then we talked um the wait, last wait, time wait, on wait. the stream the old one that's the 475 number I don't know, girl. Let me grab my phone. And Let's also, see. Let's see the old one. my, and then my number the that he one. has for me is out of commission. So I don't even know if he can ever contact me. Hold on. I've got. So the old one begins at 475. I just want to confirm this for, for yes, my people. I have that one. I have you that have one. that. And you can confirm that that's Nico's number. 475 it begins with. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And then his newer number that ended in 9761. Yeah, I got that one too. Okay, that's it. Because I have screenshots where I have his name on it, but I'm going to delete that and I'm going to screen record everything now because I'm just tired of nigga talk about clout chasing. He about to see what real clout chasing is. I'm going to show niggas really who he was snaking behind the scene. The money stuff, the financial stuff. Nigga don't have no deal with no Rumble either. But you know why? Because he's canceled. He needs Rumble. Rumble don't need him. Really? Begging Aiden Ross. Begging Aiden Ross to get a deal with Kick. And that's why he's up Aiden Ross's Look, asshole. He burned those bridges. Day. That, so no i hope like look i really praise nico hits rock bottom now i don't give a fuck i i like i don't give a fuck i don't be in just around none of that like listen, i don't care what listen says. listen what listen auntie Brittany's gonna prison. tell you this just don't do anything illegal you don't want to go back to prison Follow oh, the yeah, law. I won't do that, okay. but I will definitely post that. He could change his numbers, but the confirmation is I have people already, I have several people who already confirmed his numbers, and you just did it again as well, too. Not that you were trying to slight him or anything, you were just answering a question. I didn't expect Look, my job, I try very hard not to lie. That's like a big rule of mine is like, don't lie. And so I don't think don't it's- like being called a liar when I have facts. That's my yeah. biggest thing is oh, you're not going to call me a liar to cover yourself. So No, no, no. Yeah. Same. Like, I don't want that either. And look, Sneeko built his bed. He made his bed, girl. Like, he fucks so many people over. And I want the best for Sneeko. I do. But this is what I mean when it comes to my values. I want the best for all these people. But like, you can't- You know that so- he said Andrew Tate was jealous of him? 
<laughs> and I have those messages too. He said Andrew Tate was jealous of him, and I have those messages Girl therapy. too. therapy. Sneeko needs therapy. Blank. He needs therapy. And I was joking because I was telling him, Wild. I was like, Tate blocked me for posting that tweet about you. And then he was like, yeah, I think he's jealous of me. He forgets. I have all of this shit. And then. Wild. Yeah. And then some. Wild. No, you. And I waited because I, I didn't want to post that and stir the pot for no reason. I only was posting relative things to the relationship and the manip manipulation. But now I'm like, you know what? Nigga, you've been calling me a liar for so long. I kind of just want to be like, I mean, Merck already accidentally exposed his numbers. An accident, but everybody uh -oh. thinks I did it. So now I'm like, well, I might as well just do it. Well, okay, like, don't break the law. Well, yeah, I won't break the law. Okay. I mean, he's the one consuming drugs, not me. Okay. I mean, girl, who doesn't I love mean, drugs, though? Right. Maybe when I'm off of drugs, but. Okay. <laughs> she means, like, with doxing information, like, you don't want to get in yeah, trouble. Yeah, don't for dox doxing him. People and putting out private information because you can get in a lot of trouble for you that. You can get in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. I know. Just protect yourself, right? Like, it's okay it's to stand just, up for yourself. You should. It's just the drug stuff that he was trying to duck for so long and try to get people to act like it was a lie. Like, nigga was talking about, let's get MDMA. Let's try it out so we can have crazy sex when I get back. Those were his comments. How are I mean, those drugs reserved when you and I are having crazy sex on? you were, And then I said, I've never done those types of drugs or had sex on drugs. He said, okay, then don't do it. I'll just do it. You'll have fun either way. So oh, boom, those are the messages I have. How are those drugs for Zerka? That's it. That's it. Interesting. Then he I said, mean, I need Adderall. I need to edit. What do you need Adderall for Zerka for you to edit? Make that make sense. It's just mm -hmm. things like that. Like, I just don't like being called a liar. Like, bitch, stop yeah. saying I'm a being, liar. But it's not nice being that, called so. a liar. I think that's the problem, right? It's like, you know, but there is a lot of drama in these spheres, girl. That's why I don't know what's up and up and everything because it gives me anxiety and it ruins my skin. But yeah, like, I just wanted to confirm that that's it. Like, that was the only thing. Other than that, like, I don't really care. It's just that part. Uh-uh. But yeah, do you have any, like, question stuff for me? I guess I hope that drama or not drama, that you and Darius do find your joy together and it ends up happy, right? But I want to make sure that, like... You know, drama begets drama, girl. It's not good for your skin. So take care of yourself. Because I know... I know it gets ugly out there. I just really hate when, like, people would try to say, for example, that because of dating this person or whatever, like, they put him on some pedestal just because yeah. what, he has clout and, and a little yeah. money, that that's considered a high-value man. And that's not my definition of high-value man. So then people would, like, try to clown and say that I downgraded it. And I would honestly say, like, I've significantly upgraded due to just my treatment, how I'm treated, the type of affection I receive, the type of person that actually is there for me, that listens to me, has the same likenesses and hobbies as me. And, like, I mean, even today, like, even my sister fucking joined his Discord. Like, my sister doesn't like any of the dudes that I've ever spoken to, like, at all. She thinks they're fucking clowns. I mean, I know she probably thinks he's, like, a little goofy, but, like, she's pretty supportive and that yeah. alone, like, seeing my family kind of support... Is kind of more of a okay. This is definitely on the right path, kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah. Like, that's I'm like glad. Is anybody being like, oh, it's a downgrade? Like, not even to slight myself, but if anything, like I would be considered the downgrade, not him. Like, I'm the one that has OnlyFans, a stripper, and a pass, and all this. Look, girl, bad, stop! Like, I am sex positive. Your OnlyFans is a plus. I'm just saying, like, it's it a plus. Make more sense. You know? but yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it would just make more sense for that because it's like. And, like, I could be a pretty toxic person. But I, I know he can be as well. Just Yeah. I don't but know I see you guys yet, working but... on it, and that's what I hope. I hope that you guys continue to work on it together because you could build a really nice relationship together, right? I think healthy relationships work. So as long as you're healthy, you'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah. You, it was really I got nice a talking couple to you. of questions. Oh, wait, Tom, can you clear this up? Because everybody told me you married somebody within a month of meeting them. Girl, I hate the internet. The internet is so bad. No, we got married a year after dating. We courted. So we did a traditional courting style dating, which meant three dates or three months or we break up. And so we met each other's families. I flew to Europe. He flew to the States. We met the parents and the family members. He didn't meet my parents because of religious reasons. But like he met my siblings. He got vetted. I have nine siblings and eight of my brothers. Okay, eight brothers. So my brothers vetted him. Um, I came and met his family and his friends. And then after three months, we had one formal engagement. And then, then six months, we got the rings. And then a year after, we got married. 
Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, because they were saying a month later, and I was talking about shit, like, how does bitch talking about being a married and nigga a month after meeting him? I was, that shit had me floored and flabbergasted. No, we I just got married know. in August. August 12th was our wedding. Well, congratulations. Okay, well, Thank that sounds, you. like, kind of good or whatever. He had me speak to his mom, and, like, oh. I'm going to have him meet my sisters pretty soon, so. I love that. I love good. the moms. But I've never let any man meet my mom yet at all. So if he makes it to be the first person to meet my mom, like, that's it. Like, I'm getting married. That's really great. I love that for you guys. Well, then I am sending you happy vibes because, honestly, I, I like to see people in love. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tom, Tom you did you want to ruin this love fest? Yes, 100%. <laughs> okay. So um, earlier, uh, Brittany and I were talking about the fact that she had – a uh, girl on her stream with Sneeko a while ago. Did you see that? Did you know anything about that? And like, what was that? What was there something going on with you and Sneeko at the time? Or do you know what I'm even talking about? Wait, are you asking me something? Yes, I'm asking you. Yeah. Okay. Rephrase. Like Sorry. what? He's okay. So Brittany girl. had, yeah, Brittany had a uh, Sneeko and another girl on a while ago. And you were saying that there was a certain period where he was saying that you were his Ooh, girlfriend. When he, he was, was in England. US, when girlfriend. he was in England. Are you talking about when he was in London? Maybe. He was somewhere. I don't remember where. Dubai? Wasn't he? No, I, think he, I think he was from, out of the no. country. He was definitely he out met of the country. Her from, um, it, was, it was right after Pearl's show, right? Mm, maybe. Okay. And then he had the next Pearl show. So, yes. I was with him, and literally right after that stream he did with you, when he went on the personal interview with, I mean, when he, I mean, no, it was right after, like, in that, right when he did the interview with you, it was the day before that he was on Pearl's stream, because that's where he met the girl. Um, it was like a half black girl, right? I think so, yeah. She was nice. Sometimes and she was in the hotel. She was, yeah, she was really nice. She was in the hotel room. Yeah, it was Pearl's yeah, yeah. show. And that's when he said, my girlfriend runs my Discord server. He's like, yeah. I have a couple of girlfriends. Rom. He said, my girlfriend runs a Discord server. And they all started spamming my name because I made the Discord. I ran the Discord and it was relatively known. I mean, I still have the email that says I created the Discord and everything. So like. Okay. So that that's what I was wondering. Yeah, it was the timeline yeah. there. So that's yeah. literally the day after. Okay. And that's the um, type of shit I have so that's freaking wild dude. okay when you cut when you say and what then you're he would gonna text like, me stuff like he would text me stuff like this bitch is mid but she got big titties and i'm like i don't care to know about this but okay and then he's like oh just letting you know like just like weird stuff and then yeah like i would text him i'd be like listen this guy's getting banned he's talking shit about tck saying it's a scam i don't think that this should be in the server it's bad it's like bad uh promotion and then he's like, okay, ban them. And he's like, this chick I'm with is mid. She got big titties, though. Like, completely unrelated. Like, I obviously watched the stream. I know you're with a bitch. I didn't ask about the bitch. I'm talking about Discord. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Um, when you're talking about leaking his information, is this some sort of, like, vindictive thing? You made it sound like it's, like, clearing your own name. Leaking, like, is that necessary? I, or? I had all no, 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 I had already leaked. Like, I had already leaked, like, the drug stuff, whatever, whatever. And then the cover-up was just lying and saying it, the drugs were for Zerka. And then Zerka being like, you have to say it or else. And I was like, okay, sure. And then I was like, yep, yeah, Zerka's right. The drugs are for him. Just to, like, get the shit off. Like, leave me the fuck alone. I'm tired of hearing about it. Um, But, yeah, no, I didn't lie. There's okay. nothing to leak. Like, I don't need to go leak his address and things like that. But it's just, at the end of the day, I have receipts to say, like, that man's a liar. I am not. I have more proof of everything. Okay. And then the other question I had is there, earlier you were talking yes, about the fact that... Yes, it is out of being vindictive. Absolutely. It's 100% out of okay. being vindictive. Had a nigga just broken up, that's one thing. But going online and lying and then act, trying to act like I was just like a crazy fangirl or something like that, that's where I draw the line. You're not going to try to paint that picture about me and not get clapped up. Okay. And I'm not um, going to stab him, but if I do see him in the street, <laughs> when I'm off probation, of course, when I am off probation, of course, I might pick up a brick and clock that nigga in the fucking mouth and knock out a few teeth. So in a video game. Here. <laughs> no, when I am off probation. Girl, when I am off probation. I am this is not, violence, probation, is violence is not violence, but get violence, girl. We're not, However, we're not on now, kick over if here. I we're... <laughs> in these streets, if I am in these streets and I see a nigga look at me funny because we walk around the same place, I might pick something up and bop that nigga. I can't condone this, Zena. I can't condone the violence. I can't condone the violence. <laughs> and you know what I'll tell the judge? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> You're too pretty to go to prison, girl. 
You're in love. That that would be, that would be county. That would be six months county. <sighs> Yeah, that's, that's easy time. That's freaking. Um, although, uh, speaking of prison, I did disagree with Destiny. I did a lot of introspection when I was in the hole. Like when you're actually quiet somewhere and you're able to sit with your own thoughts for a long time. Yes, but that's that's sure. kind of the important part. Is like admitting that you like uh, admitting that you're you did something wrong. Is like the first step in progressing, right? It's the it, and so I think that that's like a huge part of like sitting by yourself in the hole is you're able to sit with your own thoughts and think about things that you did in the past and kind of right. uh, come to conclusions that you aren't able to when you're always like around noise all the time. It the hole was a great place for me to introspect and sit. And just like really be able to think about things that I've done in my past and what I would like to do in the future. So um, I think like that's it. obviously he's right that you're not in an area where you can actually change your actions because you're in prison. But you're able to make decisions and think about things in a way that will lead you to possibly change your actions in the future. Mm, I um, feel like introspection, right, is the relationship you're having with yourself. And extrospection is the relationship you're having with things outside yourself. So, like, prison sounds like a really mm -hmm. great place for introspection. And then extrospection mm -hmm. is now what she gets to do with Darius. And that's why if you bring the two together, they'll have a really successful, hopefully healthy formula. Yeah. Well, and Destiny was making it sound well, like I it's just it, not a good place for either one. Really Mm -hmm. My sister's uh, in my my boyfriend's Discord, like having co I'm like scrolling, and I see her having conversation with people in the Discord, and it's just funny. The the only other question I had is, so you were talking about the fact that uh that Darius is supportive of your OnlyFans, um, or so, sorry, you said he's not necessarily supportive, but he's not against it. You've talked a lot about the fact that you don't want to do OnlyFans in the future. Do you? Are, are you changing your mind on whether or not you want to do OnlyFans? And do you expect him to eventually be supportive if you continue to do OnlyFans? Um, I don't want to do it for the rest of my life, obviously. Like like I said, I do want to have a family. I want to settle down and have a family. And I don't think that that is something I'd want to be doing while raising kids. But I mean, like... But you're, but you're still doing it now is kind right, of my point. As of right now, yeah, I'm doing it. And I mean, yeah, he's supportive. He doesn't, like call me a whore or anything like that for it so but you so you make that caveat every time and that's what i'm more so asking about is like is he like not supportive of it but he's not necessarily telling you to stop or is there because that's the part of you earlier he's you caveat like, to say he's suggest, not supportive of okay it. he'll be supportive and suggestive like when it comes to like ideas and stuff like that like oh yeah i mean this will look cute if you do this or da da da, da. like he does help me come up with like really good ideas even like I know people will probably be shocked, but, like, he does give me kind of good uh, financial advice, too. Like, even when he can't necessarily articulate himself too well, all at, like, all the time, he'll still come up with, like, good things to give me um, ideas and even just managing my money better and, oh, don't do this and get rid of this so you have lesser bills. Like, he does try to do that, even though I get frustrated. Like, for example, like, he had a whole thing about my car. I like my car. I worked really hard to get in the position to get the car that I've wanted for a long time, which is a Cadillac. I wanted it. I like it. Mm -hmm. I afford it. I pay it. I have no issues paying my bill for my car. I like my fucking car. Like, I don't I don't care. I don't want a Honda. I don't want a Nissan. I don't want a Toyota. I had those. I want my car. So that was, like, the one luxury or materialistic thing that I got for myself that I think was worth it because one I do need to drive places like I'm in West Palm Beach right now I had to drive up here I let my friend borrow my car but my car is very important for me to like commute my mom lives an hour and a half away from me I live in Miami and then I have friends at Port St. Lucie which is two hours away I like to have my car um and then like so yeah he'll give me ideas when it comes to things like that or even try to like advise me like when it comes to the club like he'll be like look why don't you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at least get three days of work out of the week. Therefore, you feel like you've done something. You went to work, you make some money, even if it's a little bit of money. Even if it is just plus 400, plus 500, that's money that you're adding on top of your streaming and your OnlyFans. So, so like, he's there, like, supportive as fuck. And that's something I value and appreciate with him a lot. Okay, cool. That's all I had. I'm glad I could so fix out? you guys. So You're welcome. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was a great conversation. Okay, I, thanks for the combo, girl. I did, I did all the work. <laughs> Leave it to a man to take credit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess that's it.
see what's going on. I mean, yep. yeah, like that's pretty much. I'm probably gonna go troll in Darius's uh, Discord now because I see my sisters in here like that's flaming so cute. somebody. So okay, Zena, yeah, listen to she's me. Like, do not cute. catch a case, girl. No catching cases. Absolutely, but it was really nice talking to you. Same. Always, Tom. It's always a pleasure. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, Enjoy the Zena. rest of your conversation. Bye. Later, guys. How do we feel? How are those humans humaning? Pretty good, right? Look, you know, I don't have a lot of patience. And, uh, you know, if it helps Nico hurt less women, I'm happy to take down that that uh, interview. You know what I mean? I'm happy to take down that podcast. Ugh, Men fail sometimes in such spectacular ways while blaming women for all their problems. Amazing. The feminist in me comes out fiercely. Comes out fiercely. <laughs> Honestly, I should have taken down that podcast like before, but hearing it like the other things was interesting. Yeah, I didn't know those things. Honestly, though, it's terrible how Sneeko treated her. I hope she feels more valued now with Darius. Me too. Yeah. And no matter what happens in any of our lives or any of our relationships, as long as you try and you aim for healthy, it's better to enjoy the moment, right? Like like life is moments, all these little moments. And she's in like a really specific moment. And I hope she has a joyful time through the process, though it can be hard. Um, you know, in some ways... I want to say, like, choose peace. And in other ways, it's really tempting to stand up for yourself and leak DMs. I get it. Um, it's not how I do things, but it is how some people feel like they find healing. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm more of a, mm, you know, like, mm. it's not, you know, but I get it. Like, don't catch a case, Sina. Men are not worth prison. Men are not worth prison. Okay. In my head, in real life, while I'm dead, my belly's being fed, and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking. Yeah. I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool dun, 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 dun.